on using. But at that point, it was really. There was no threat. It didn't matter. Now, um, a lot of the players, they like to get shields right away. Um, sometimes I do, but right now, I think I see a store nearby, so I'm going to explore a couple beacons. Or anyway, I only have time to explore one. I don't know. And then I'll visit the store, and if there's something really awesome in it, I'll buy that instead of upgrading my ship. Normally, you do not want to save up scraps to buy stuff at the store this early in the game. Like, don't make it a habit, but it just so happened I bumped into a store at the moment where I would have bought myself some shields or something. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it's something that transport, well, actually transport a babe. I like getting transport of base really early, but I don't really have a crew to make good use of it. And if I like never get new crew, it'd be like a biggest blunder ever. Looks like I'll have time to visit one more week before the storm. I don't really like Angiku that much, to be honest, but I guess they're useful when you only have three dudes. Um, I might want to make him a weapon officer, actually. I'll, I'll keep him in the shield just because he's near the med lab, and uh, he's the fastest repair dude, so I might have him like repairing hull breaches and fires um, the most often, and so he'll probably get the hurt most often. He might need the proximity. Drone bay or the mini beam because uh, these things by themselves, drones, they sometimes can 
punch through shield and then do damage because they can shoot really rapidly if depending on the random nature of their oops, I forgot to shoot again. Depending on the random nature of their firing gun. Let's do Oh uh, I don't know if that's like the most common occurrence with that new event or not. So I guess don't pick that uh, option if you absolutely cannot afford to take the damage. If I got that choice again, I'd take it again just because I still have lost the hole. I'd take it if I was like in sector 4 or something, but not necessarily. 25, yeah, I would have only saved my scraps, not worth it. Not, not this early. Um, if you're new in this game, you might think that you never need an oxygen level 2. I strongly recommend you get at least 2 before the boss, though, because, um, you know, it's a buffer. I mean, if it takes a stray bullet, you got two bars, it only loses one bar and it's still operational. And, it, you know, that's a pretty hectic fight sometimes, so sometimes you can't afford to just go up and repair a street bullet to your oxygen bay because there's lots of damage everywhere, so you, being able to just take a hit and worry about it later is really crucial. Also, the boss, not just the boss, but anyone, if they have a hacking drone, they can send it to your life support and it will drain your ship of this oxygen really fast and even when you have it powered all the time you actually lose oxygen faster than you gain so if you have a 2 though that will not be as big an issue I hate it when they exit this like part of that That's a good deal if you use drones. I normally don't buy a drone bay ever, so no thanks. Now, looks like I could visit this beacon and this one before I go to the exit. Um, that's really risky this early in the game. I do not want to do it because I still only have level 2 engines and level 1 shields because I spent money on a 4th crew dude. So, um, if I didn't come across that shop, I would have gotten some shields and I would have just now bought a 3rd and maybe even 4th engine. And then I would have done that. But now I probably won't be able to afford that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go to my set there because I think it's too dangerous. I mean, if you're well equipped, and if you have at least uh, a decent shield and four or more engines, then sometimes then I'd say it's worth exploring two beacons before you uh, risk, you know, the rebel fleet catching up to you for the exit. But now I wouldn't do it. Oh wow, what wonderful choices! Cheap. I'm gonna go with the bottom one just because. Uh, I'm hoping this is a pirate or rebel sector. Those are always really good to go for. And if I go here and I just don't have it. Oh, and I hate slug sectors, so if this is a slug and I pick the top, then I'd pick this one probably. And I'd lose the chance of taking a pirate or rebel. Maybe even Mantis is better than uh, 